Hello and welcome back to more Steven Plays Starfield. On the last episode, we finally left Neon, returned an artifact to the Lodge, but not before running into a group of people that called themselves the Starborn in a ship that we had never seen before. And after running a scan on it, showed that it was like extremely high tech. So who knows what that means? In the meantime, uh, it's we finally have enough information to act on Barrett's um, personal quest. And we are here at uh, Gagarin to actually do that. So let's do it. Let's go talk to a lawyer. We've been here before. You've been to Clint's recently? <laughs> he get crushed under all that crap yet? I remember watching shiny new mechs rolling on the ships. Yeah, we were here to get air filters. And then we ended up getting another another quest entirely. Actually, it kind of looks like it's leading us up to where that guy was dead. Yeah, this is Ellie's law office. Perfect. She said she would be expecting us. Oh, this isn't it. It's just close by. <laughs> Barrett beat me in here somehow. Should I take a seat? Hi. Well, well, well. Barrett, you're actually here. Astounding. Ellie! Ellie, come on. I promised we'd stop by, didn't I? Hmm. People make promises all the time, Barrett. And most folks try to avoid Gagarin, not visit it. Anyway, I'm glad you made it out here. We have work to do, don't we? I'm glad that she looked at Barrett. Because at the beginning, she was looking at me and talking to Barrett. And I was like, oh, poor Bethesda. They haven't figured this out yet. But then she moved her head. Those folks over there at Bethesda are working hard. Um, have there ever been other cases like this before? Not exactly, but similar cases. A corporation commits a crime and needs a scapegoat, so they select someone powerless to target. The quintessential Gagarin tale. Indeed. You handled Irvin's case years ago? Yes. It was my first case as a bright-eyed, optimistic lawyer. Well, starting your career with a defeat is rough, Ellie. <sighs> it was. But in a way, it made me more determined. What did you mean about people avoiding Gagarin? It's not a resort. It's a working town run by mining corporations. You don't come here unless you need to, and you don't stay unless you have to. Or unless you're a bright-eyed, optimistic lawyer who genuinely wants to make things better for others. Right, Ellie? <laughs> you're kind, Barrett. Yes, I suppose there's that type of person as well. Let's discuss Irvin's case. Down to business. Perfect. What do you already know? So we already know that Irvin worked for Hephaestus Mining Company years ago, and they blamed him for catastrophic economic and ecological issues here in Gagarin. Yes. He lost his case because he didn't defend himself, and we had almost no evidence without him. Hmm. Why didn't Irvin defend himself? I recall receiving a message asking him to appear in court a day after his funeral. An unfortunate reality of interplanetary legal communiques, I'm afraid. What was the judgment? He was publicly blamed for the economic woes, and his accounts were seized in compensation. His account on Gagarin specifically. It was just the amount he was paid years ago for the job. Right. They would have taken his assets and other settlements, but by law, his death prevented it. We need to clear Irvin's name. Well, we can bring the case to a judge here if we have new evidence or a witness. What about the evidence we've found so far? Yes, well, about that. It's just not enough. <sighs> Nothing we found is good enough? Not on its own, no. It's circumstantial. Helpful to support our claim, but not enough. 
What happens if we take the case to court with more evidence? Best case scenario? We clear his name, and his assets are returned, plus additional compensation. We can find more evidence. In order for me to go before a judge, I'd like to have some solid evidence pertaining to motive. Hmm. Why do we need to establish a motive? The courts won't entertain a challenge to its ruling unless we're sure that something major was missed in the original trial. What was the motive from the original trial? We had no solid motive after our witness withdrew his testimony. We don't have any other evidence. Yeah, we need something major. Documentation, recordings, a witness, something. It's been so long. How could we find anything like that? I've thought about this a lot since the original case. The mine that Irvin worked at was shuttered in 2309. They probably still have documents relating to whatever happened there with him. Hmm. Wouldn't Hephaestus destroy incriminating documents? Not necessarily. To Hephaestus, it might be cheaper to run away and let the dust bury it all. Barrett, do you know which mine Irvin worked at? Not really. All I know is that it's a Hephaestus mine from 20 years ago, somewhere on Gagarin. I don't have a couple decades to wait for you to search them all, so we'll need to narrow it down. Point us to the mine where Irvin was assigned to work, please. That's where you come in. I don't know which mine he worked at when the incident took place. In theory, you could find that information on a foundry terminal. If you can access it, you'll need a passcode. That's the hard part. Besides the foundry records, there also might be something in Irvin's apartment. If he knew he was being framed, he might have held on to some documents there. Hmm. That's true. Although I'm real interested, interested in seeing Irvin's apartment. Hmm. Let's search Irvin's apartment. It might have documents from Hephaestus. Makes sense to me. You've been hanging on to that old apartment this whole time, Barrett? Eh, it was easier to not bother with it. Not like it's worth anything in this economy anyway. I hope you still have the key. I have it. Figured maybe I'd sell it while we were here anyway. May as well, right? Hopefully that's enough to work with for now. If you'll excuse me, I have to get some court documents ready for this case. I should still have a key to Irvin's apartment. I hope it's worth our time, but I can't be sure. Irvin's old apartment isn't far from here. I doubt there's much in there, but it's good to check. All right. I should still have a key to Irvin. We'll be back soon, Ellie. Wish us luck. So we're making some progress on this. I like Barrett a lot. Like, this dark shadowy figure. You might want this. I should still have a key to Irvin's apartment. Do you have anything for I me, Barrett? Out I do, actually. Here you go. Is it aid? Aid. Slow stewed and reduced lentils in a mix of spices and herbs. It looks delicious. Thank you. I'll eat it now. Uh, all right. Is this where we need to be? I know a guy who just got a job at the Centauri Mills plant. Won't say what they pay, but his outfits Here. sure have gotten nice. Use this key. Did you give it to me? Okay, we got it. <laughs> they probably never intended for these walkways to last this long. Wait, is this still in use? There's a locked storage box. Let's open this up. Sealant. Click. You got it. It gives us experience. It's fine. Uh, is this just down the hall? Oh, there's so many things here. Wait a second. What about this safe? I bet it's locked by a terminal. Wait, is this... This whole well, thing is the apartment. 
If you ever doubted Irvin's genius, look at all this. Still chugging along 20 years later. I thought we were in like an apartment building and we had to go to the room. It looks like this is the apartment? Which was not what I was expecting. Let's look here. Reminders. Finalize apartment purchase, send anniversary gift to Barrett, meet new co-workers at the bar. Uh, okay. Your work contract. Irvin, you'll receive a mine assignment in your foundry passcode soon. The mine assignment is specified in the contract, and the key allows you to access foundry computers for additional information about your particular assignment. We look forward to working with you. Application for hunting license. Application submitted to Town Hall. Application ID. Check application status at Town Hall. Welcome to the team. Irvin, we have to talk. It's about the job. If you can, please reach out to me before you start the job. HH. Assignment. Terminate Alpha Predator near the assigned mine for Hephaestus Mining Corp. Details. This is a highly intelligent Alpha Predator that seems to have recently emerged near the newest Hephaestus mine. Contact. I've been assigned to work with Dr. Helgi Hoxon to uncover why the creature is so aggressive and whether it has anything to do with the mine's activity in the area. Sweetheart, I know this is going to be a long job on Gagarin, so I thought I'd send you some flowers to cheer you up. I know how much you like the ones that aren't cut, and I found someone there who had a live plant. Ta-da! Don't worry about me. I just got me on a new assignment already with Sarah. That'll keep me busy until you return home. Missing you always, Barrett. Hack advance lock. This goes here. Unlocking safe done. Aha! Uh -huh. Will you look at that? If we go to town hall, I bet we can get a copy of that hunting license. Okay, so that is one lead that we have. What else is around here? A notebook. Some scissors. So we got some ammo, some money, a rifle, which I could, yeah, I can sell that. Contract. Is that Urban's employment contract? Let me see. No idea where mine H363 is, but we could search for it at the Foundry database. Let's take a look at that ourselves so we can see that. So that's the employee number, contract, specified task to be confirmed upon arrival at the work site. Pretty simple. Okay. Anything else in here? A soap dispenser. There's something... Oh, there's two... Th oh, one of them is Barrett. I was like, there's another marker in here. It's Barrett. Barrett. Buddy. All right. We've got some solid leads, it looks like. The employment contract and the hunting license at Town Hall. Hmm. Those are solid leads. Much better than liquid or gas leads. That much is evident. Ah... <sighs> It was a bit strange going through Irvin's old things, though. I was hoping for some old pictures, but nothing. I did, however, find this odd-looking plant. Hmm. How's it still alive? Witchcraft, probably. But if you want a more scientific explanation, I have a couple of theories. It could go through states of hibernation or draw moisture from the air the way epiphytic plants do. There's also that habitat dish Irvin set up for it, which gave it light and nutrients. Still, I'm not ruling out witchcraft. Hmm. Do you know the story behind this plant? I'm not sure. It might not even be a plant. It might technically be a fungus, but there's probably a reason why Irvin tried his best to keep it alive. When we get back home, I'll go through some of his research notes. It might tell us something more about this plant. Hmm. Hopefully it's not poisonous. <laughs> I don't think that's going to help with the case. No, maybe not. But it helps me. Irvin was the last person to handle this plant. It mattered to him. No matter how the case goes, this warms my heart. I didn't expect to find it, but I love that I did. In any event, I'll go through Urban's notes in more detail later. There's probably a flowchart somewhere with this little guy's name on it. Oh, 
<laughs> On that note, we should give it a name. I'm thinking something simple yet refined. What do you think of Harvey? Harvey works for me. Then it's unanimous. Okay. The three of us should get back to it. You, me, and Harvey have a case to solve. I love that. Uh, let's look around a little bit. We have what we need from here, but I'm just curious about this this place. This is a bathroom. All right. No other special things going on in here. So my other question then is, there is an elevator. Where does this take us? Oh, nowhere. Okay, well. That answers that question. Alright, so we need to head to if Town Hall. Hot, try wearing security armor. What a weird... Like, Gagarin's not very large. So the fact that there's, like, the apartments just over here is kind of strange. I'm not supposed to stay out after dark, but it's too hot to play during the day. Alright, let's, let's head this direction. We are incentivized to run. Oh, that was, that was, that was, that was nice. That was very nice. Running continues to build our weightlifting. Town Hall. The Gagarin Town Hall is currently closed for renovations. Reopening date is scheduled for TBD. Applications? Available civilian applications. Mining permit? Okay. And check application status. Okay. Application type. Hunting license. Applicant. Irvin. Vastus Mining Corp. Approved. You can also file a complaint. All right, so that worked. Hi, bud. I got here way so, faster than you. Hmm. The hunting license was sponsored by Hephaestus after all. Ellie will be very interested to see this. What a weird building. So the town hall, just like nobody works here. Like they had a town hall and then it stopped. <laughs> I see. All these fancy new businesses going up, and we still can't get them to open up a chunks. If you thought it was hot out here, you should try working in the foundry. Everyone's dialogue starts with, if you thought this was hot. So there's a thing up there. That probably goes back to Ellie. And then, oh god. Careful. I'm fine. See if we can get into this. Welcome to Medela Foundry and Mines. Uh, CB McCoy's account. I probably don't have an admin account. Admin access granted. What? Why do? What? Why do I? Have? Okay. Filter mines. Displaying first five matches. Okay. Year twenty three oh nine. Status inactive. Okay. It's just H363. Download coordinates. So the coordinates to the mine have been downloaded. So we now know where the mine is. What else can I learn from this? Anything? View my assignments. Search database. View my paychecks. Pending paycheck one? Hey! I had a paycheck! That's neat. Cool. <laughs> no, I... Hey, Barrett. I knew I shouldn't have locked eyes with you. Dang it. What do you need? Oh, I need to talk to multiple people. Coordinates look valid to me. Imagine Irvin thinking the same thing all those years ago. 
Just a job, right? Well, at least we know where to keep looking, right? Hmm. See, that's an interesting idea. <laughs> we should hire somebody to go there for us, right? This is what we do. We're explorers. Adventurers. But yeah, other than that, it's my fight. I don't want to get anyone else involved. Well, let's go search the abandoned mine for incriminating documents. I guess we'll see what state the mine is in. It's possible they collapsed it before they left. We just won't know until we get there. If that's the case, we'll just have to figure something out. Are you selling something or what? I'm not buying, though. So... You lost her waiting for somebody? Interesting. I think maybe I could have used them to get into the thing? But I already got into the thing, so now there's just like a waypoint on them that I don't need. Probably. So the other things I've got going on are... That's way out of town. That's the mine itself. Let's go talk to Ellie and just let her know what we've got so far. You're back. Well... What did you uncover? So much. Uh, yeah, I'll let Bear do it. <laughs> Thanks, Captain. We searched Irvin's apartment and found an application for a hunting license. Compelling, right? It's not much. Practically zero. Is that all you found? Well, we also have a copy of the actual license sponsored by Hephaestus, too. How about that? That's solid evidence. But... Likely not enough to bring it to a judge. Opening an old case is a higher burden of proof, I'm sure. Hmm. We have the coordinates for Irvin's mine. We'll find more evidence there. Okay, now that is a solid lead. Well, don't let me stop you while you're on a roll, detectives. We can talk more later. Detectives. Get a passcode from an employee was the thing it was trying to get us to do. And I'm not sure why, like, I wasn't sure why we could do admin on that computer. Like, that didn't make sense to me. Because when I went up and did admin, it was like, okay. I was like, but why did I, why was I allowed to do this? I'm not sure. But it doesn't matter, because at this point, we can just go, you wanna know what I think about all these like, where we need to go. Oh, they're going to have us fly there, aren't, aren't they? Go to the Hephaestus mine. Show on map. That's the mine. All right, so we can just set the landing target and go straight there. We don't have to go get on the ship. So this is this is a ways away. I have no idea what we're going to find. Careful. This place was shuttered 20 years ago. But it might have new tenants now. What in God's name... What is happening? There are flying ice cream cones being attacked by pterodactyls. Okay. This is fine and I'm fine. Oh, we have new gun. So we have this Kraken, but the Fiscal Quarter uses the same ammo type. I'd love to at least try it. So let's favorite it and throw it over here. It's still pointing us to that miner, like, there's a miner back there. Time to shine. Oh shoot, that's not what I expected to find here. Okay. I was expecting people. This is not people. Let's swap. Um, I've been holding on to mines for a while. Inferno mine. Ooh. 
I'm gonna get rid of some of those. Come on! Let's finish this! Where are they? I've done this a thousand times. Sorry, Barrett. No problem. Uh, had worse. Yeah, worse than just being on fire? Oh, yes. I know how this ends. Creepy crawlers. Need help? Much better. That gun's okay. Uh, shotgun. <laughs> oh, it's a miner. Well, they don't need it now. Hmm. Bunch of old mining equipment. Let's go uh, inside. I don't think we're going to find people here. Unless they're making real good friends with the locals. Barrett, let it come to us. I set a mine out. There's also still... Something somewhere. Oh, the mine went off. Do we get it? That's rare. <laughs> Give me that. They can spit. Ah, nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 I'm doing fine, um, <laughs> Kaffir, uh, you want, you want to watch some TV, or? Oh, it's Chunk's Chicken. I was like, what is that small cube? Comms building key, that seems important. Let's take a key. Never not take key. As soon as the, the, the violence is over, like the whimsical ambient music comes in. It's like, ooh, what discovery will you make? Oh, thank God, a replacement piece of toast. I'll hold on to that in case of an emergency. It's been a while since I've seen a plushie. What? What am I attacking? Am I gonna shoot the food tray? Why am I getting... I just got 14 experience points. What did I do? I have no idea. What? Okay. Something like blew up somewhere? Wait, was it the mine that I placed earlier? That didn't blow up? Did a creature finally walk on it? Maybe. This looks promising. This looks like administration. Sure. Festus mining computer. Mine status. Okay. Decommissioned employees. Uh Irvin. Terminate local predator. This is Dr. Helgi. Well, let's check Helgi. Conducting an environmental impact study which is incorporated in several upcoming land acquisition bids in 2310. Memos. Let's go back. Mine commissioned. Mine 363 has been commissioned for the standard two-year contract or until the extraction is complete. Why would it take me to the top every time? Uh, welcome, Dr. Hawkson. 
Dr. Helgi Hawkson has been assigned to the current active Hephaestus mines to evaluate the situation with the subsurface bacteria. He is authority to conduct any experiments needed. Okay. Extraction phase two. Exactly on time, six months to phase two, we have penetrated the subsurface layers of slime and biomass below the top layers of materials and have full local access. Gases are escaping through the bacterial layers at a, a rate higher than the previous mines in this biome, but that has assisted in reducing the amount of biomass. Dr. Hawkson is investigating. Dead wildlife. The crew found a flock of dead creatures around the entrance to the mine today. They seemed deceased, diseased, or starved. But we don't know why they came to the mine. Okay. Volatile gases. The volatile gases that were previously requiring special protective gear have plummeted below critical levels for the fourth straight week, as is the trend with mines after the first year of operation. Security. Mine 363 sent for security today when one of the local predators arrived to feast on the collection of dead carcasses nearby. We have started to burn their corpses in hopes that it will go away. Odd predator behavior. Large predators have been circling the mine and attacking each other. Purpose is unclear. They are very violent, and security from Gagara and Selamun is unprepared for this, so they left. We sent for further assistance. This could disrupt extraction. And then, welcome Irvin. Hephaestus has hired Irvin Madani to kill one of the main predators that hasn't left the area for weeks. He will assist Dr. Helgi, who is studying the strange predator behavior. Predators are dead. Irvin Madani was able to kill the largest of the predators. Currently, no wildlife is at the mine anymore. Unrelatedly, the volatile gases from the extraction point are now fully depleted. This did not happen at the previous mines. Year one is complete. We are now at full production. Site is expected to be fully depleted far ahead of schedule due to the removed complication of volatile gases. Uh, Irvin's contract is over. And no more predators or any wildlife have been found at the mine. It's a miracle. Dr. Hawkson quit. Helgi unexpectedly quit today, citing ethics violations on a planetary scale, and then the mine was decommissioned. Hmm. And there's an admin section. Hack advanced lock. Why not? There we go. We're on our we're on our journey of picking 30 locks. Uh, okay, so we've got Helgi's and Irvin's research station. Let's start with Helgi's. Let's unlock it. And let's unlock... Um, okay, it's unlocked. Irvin's. That's also been unlocked. Okay. All right. Now let's go find Irvin and Helgi's lab stations. All right. And I have the comms building key, so we can just walk in here, which is really wonderful. Some ammo, which I always appreciate. Ammo, ammo, uh, a gun. The Foreman computer? Sure, let's take a look. Foreman's log. We are still recovering from the collapse. The full death toll is unknown at the moment, but currently there are 13 confirmed dead. I will be consulting with the head geologist, geologist about how best to move forward from this unfortunate incident. While drilling, we seem to have stumbled upon a nest of some sort. We aren't certain of the species of creature it belonged to, but it seems to be deserted now. We will continue drilling once we know for certain the nest has been abandoned. I mean, there are critters. We've seen evidence of critters. Uh, there's also a safe just on the wall here. Perfect. Oliver Twist! Visit the London landmark on Earth? Did we unlock the ability to go look at London? Because that's neat. I'm going to have to start picking up more books. Trauma pack. All right. Let 
Nothing in here. Still definitely awaiting to be jumped out at by a critter. Hmm. There's an upstairs. What is that taking me to? I bet that's taking me back to the miner to get the passcode. I bet you anything. So are we done on the first floor? Was I missed this door. A personal groomer. For grooming yourself personally. I was really expecting an enemy to be in here. I didn't want that to happen, and I'm glad it did not, but I was expecting it. Oh my god. I like plushies. That was a good one. And two digipics. That's nice, too. Anything over here? <laughs> There's a lot of personal groomers. More than I think was needed. There were only... How many people were here? All right, let's, uh, let's take, a, take a quick rest, because that will give us experience hey, boost. Perfect. We're and we're ready so to go upstairs much. and find the two computers. some packs that aren't really worth much. Mm. Okay, there weren't any more enemies in here. I was definitely expecting more enemies. I'm grateful to find that that has not happened. There is duct tape on this door. Okay. Looks like we have to go down. Whew! 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 I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, God. Okay. I don't like this. Hmm. Because, like, there is going to be more of those alien creatures. There has to be, almost certainly, living down here. An alien scramble. Consume. It's so nice that you can just eat stuff off a table now. Huge benefit. Here's the computers. Foreman's journal. So far, yield has been stellar. The veins we are tapping continue to produce impressive quantities of nickel and aluminum, as well as other ores. What's better is that the well shows no signs of drying up. Yield has only increased the deeper we dig. Check this. I've spoken with Foreman Shulman regarding the unfortunate collapse of the Kurd. Uh, he was recommending that we evacuate the rest of the mine in case of a total cave-in. To uh, uh, assuage his fears, uh, I scanned the surrounding areas of the mine in an effort to prove its stability. What I found was quite encouraging. Continued drilling should pose no danger of a collapse. Although the veins we have been mining for some time are currently trapped beyond the collapsed area, I believe that there's a solution. We can dig around the collapse and circle our way back to those veins. I'm confident this course of action will be satisfactory for Mr. Shulman. Okay, but what I need to do, do is find the computers. Where are the computers? This is a computer. Okay. Visiting expert in xenobiology. Experiment results? 
Irvin, they're not going to like what I have to say, Dr. Helgi. Apex Predators, this was earlier. Irvin, I've included your analysis in my papers, which I've sent to the main office. Thank you for helping me collect and analyze the data. I sincerely hope this makes a difference. Dr. Hawkson, the data tells a troubling story. Could the micro microbial colony network be poisoned by the chemicals from these mines? Could this cause a global collapse? Just a few memos here, not a lot it's of information. The of the bacterial colonies, not the apex predators. So, they ruined the ecosystem here, and it had nothing to do with Irvin. This is it. This is what Ellie needs to see. I'd also like to find Dr. Helgi's computer, though, because we have access to it. I'm not sure where that is. I knew you were here. I heard skittering. Things I don't want to hear. Skittering. And there's still... something here. Something has survived. What is this room? Why is this room dark and red? Dark and red room scary. Don't like dark and red room. There's nothing else in here. <laughs> All yours. Sushi, oh boy! I can't eat it out of his pockets, though. We need another patch, Bethesda. I need to be able to eat this sushi out of this man's, this dead man's pockets. Until I can do that, the game is not complete. Anything down here? Yeah, it did look like a dark room. But it just had, like, not dark room stuff in it. Hell yeah, alright. What's in here? Uranium. That's not that exciting. Benzene? Give me the benzene. <laughs> the rare rare materials like benzene and orange juice. Chlorine hammer. There's nothing else of interest in here. I came in here for the orange juice, I suppose. Some pills. A hat. I have a hat. I wear a hat. A Christmas carol. See, now I'm going to be taking stuff because I'm like, ooh, will that unlock a landmark? i got to remember to go see London. I would back up. Personally. You can do what you want, but I would back up. I, that's a landmine. I, I placed a landmine. I... Sure! I've got some time to kill! Oh, I get it, because you're killing them. That's funny. That's a good one, Barrett. Oh, buddy. Anything in here? No. I'm already here, so I'm, I'm pushing further into the mine. Give me a... I haven't tried this out yet. Oh, God. That's a fun gun. A little revolver gun. That's very fun. I know it's not uncommon for them to leave all this equipment behind, but it seems rushed. <sighs> like, on the one hand, Barrett seems pretty adamant that I have what I need to give to Ellie. And that's good. But I'm also like, well, I'm never coming back here. I know it's not a... 
angry adult pest. Is there another one in the distance? I definitely saw another one. It's fine. It's fine. Come out and play! What is this, Starship Troopers? There's another one somewhere, but I don't know where it went. I didn't even see that guy. Okay. Okay. I was like, I heard, I heard it. Where is it? Uh, this gun is not the gun that I really need. Um, that's too big. That's fine. Sorry for shooting you in the leg. Sometimes I do that a little bit. Nope, don't spit on me. Don't you spit on me. They're bullet sponges, dear lord. There's another one. He was monitoring them. Oh, this is it. This is what I was looking for. And there's some stuff here that belongs to me now. I can sell that. I don't want this uranium. I don't care. <laughs> Helgi. Studies. Okay, so four different things. Ecosystem collapse. Uh, actually, let's go up here. Because these are in... Reverse chronological. Uh, summary. If a local queen in the regional hive of apex predators dies, one of the drones is promoted to queen by consuming the remains of the previous queen. The process of promotion takes several months. Okay. Below the surface of Gagarin exists a vast microbial colony network that spans much of the planet. These colonies contain many species of microbes working together to convert dust and organic material into soil. Without these colonies, Gagarin's entire ecosystem would be devastated. Okay. The apex predator species is an important component of the Gagarin ecosystem. The species is uh, eusocial and has a strict caste structure with drones, defenders, and a primary reproductive gyne or queen. The gyne of each region reproduces ir irregularly, and waste produced by the nesting process is used exclusively by the soil microbes to form massive colonies below the surface. Uh huh. Conclusion. Biochemical analysis of subsurface bacterial colonies reveals near-total collapse caused by the gases released by the mining processes. Killing apex predators devastates a local colony temporarily, but they can rebound. The chemicals released from the mines, however, are 95% responsible for the collapse of the ecosystem. My full report, including data, methodology, and analysis will be sent directly to the main office. And then my resignation. Due to witnessing numerous ethics violations at Hephaestus, I quit. This is my 180th report about the severity of the situation. What Hephaestus is doing in these mines will cause the biome to become unstable in the short term, and it will ruin our environment permanently in the long run. Read my studies if this is unclear. If anyone reads this at all, what a waste. Oh. Seems like Helgi tried to do the right thing here. I'm sure Ellie would want to see this. He's citing numerous ethics violations dating back to before Irvin's time. 
and Hephaestus just ignored him. I'm... Oh, God. Yes, thank you. Thank you, child. Oh, you just a little one. I'm not entirely sure that I should push forward. That seems like it might be... a uh, bad. And yet... Oh my god. Oh god. It's so dark in here. It's so dark in here. What is that? What? Yeah. What? What is that? Th it's some. It's a flower. I'm too good at this. What? You know what? I have a bigger gun than this. this thing? I have no idea what I'm looking at right now. We've killed a lot of these creatures. I'm jumping down. Nothing bad has ever happened when I jumped into a even deeper hole. What a bizarre looking... Yeah, this is... I, I don't think this is anything I even enter... I think it's just part of the... The floor and fauna. Oh, this is bad. Are these like... Sorry, is these... Are these like the eggs? Oh, God. <laughs> it's like a little horror show. I don't like the sound effects. I really don't like the sound effects. I accept them. I just don't like them. Found the queen. Found the queen. We got a queen. That's a queen. Yep. Left. Yep. Little help. Okay, that hurt. Sorry. You wanna? You got it. You got it. You got it. Good work. Yeah, it's like, mm, don't walk in this water. And I'm like, but what if I walked in the water? It's like, don't walk in this water. Okay, that's what I was after. That's what I wanted. I wanted to find the queen. Because it kept saying, there's a queen down here. We got the queen. We got what I was after. <laughs> Get a password code from the employee. No. Well, that was an adventure. But we got all the information I think we needed. I'm going to stop it here because this has been a very long episode. Thank you so much for watching. Next time, we'll show Ellie the evidence that we got. And maybe we're starting to set the wheels in motion to, uh, to finally clear Irvin's name. 
hopefully. See you next time for more Stephen Place Starfield.